show you a bunch of really awesome and fun, easy hairstyles that you can do on pretty much any day. You can wear them to work, you can wear them to school, you can dress them up, you can dress them down. There is so many endless possibilities with all of these hairstyles that I'm going to be showing you today. Here are some of my go-to, especially if I'm on like second day hair, my hair's looking a little greasy, or if I just want to spice things up and not just wear my hair down. I hope you guys are excited for this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you are. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Cicely. You should go ahead and click the subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on any of my videos. That way you will be notified every time that I upload. I hope you guys are super excited for this video and I really hope you enjoy all of the hairstyles. Without further ado, let's just get started. So what you'll need for these three hairstyles is pretty minimal, but definitely essential and super important to all of the hairstyles. So you're definitely going to need some hair ties, whichever match your hair color, bobby pins again to match your hair color, and then any hot tool. I prefer my hair curly, but you can also wear your hair straight for any of these looks. So the first one is going to be a half up, half down bun, but I am taking the bun a step further and making it a little bit more interesting and you guys will see. So basically to do this, I just take the top section of my hair and then I took a small skinny elastic and tied that around my hair kind of just on the top of my head. When they smile in your face, put behind you and they well wish. Now to get some more volume at the crown of my head, I am just going ahead and pulling my hair in the ponytail and kind of just fixing it. Then I'm taking the actual ponytail and splitting it into three parts and then just going ahead and braiding it like normal. Now I'm just going ahead and kind of loosening up the braid so that the bun that we create with this braid isn't too small because I do like a lot of volume closer to the top of my head. Then I'm just going ahead and wrapping it into a bun. You might have to do this a few times just to kind of get it how you like it, but the whole point of this look is to really just kind of play with your bun and every time it looks different and it can look good. So you just kind of have to mess with it, play with it, and then go ahead and just pin it in place whenever you're happy with your results. Again, just kind of pull at it, play with it. I like to have a little bit of baby hairs down as well and just kind of make it how you like it. And yeah, it's a pretty easy hairstyle, but this is kind of a little extra step you can take to take it to the next level. So the next hairstyle is an updo. And I'm not a big fan of updos, but I actually love to wear this one because it's so easy to do and it still looks really, really great. And your hair still does look pretty long. So basically you're just going to take two sections from the front and kind of hold them in the front. I put them in my mouth, but you can just kind of like pin them in the front and then put the rest of your hair into a lower ponytail. And then again, just for a little bit of volume, I kind of messed with it and pulled out the back. Then I'm taking the piece from the left side of my head and just wrapping it around the ponytail and kind of creating this crown like effect i don't really know how to explain it but you guys can kind of see what i'm doing so i just twisted the hair a little bit and then wrapped it around the ponytail and pinned it with a bobby pin underneath and you can see this really pretty simple updo that it creates you could really dress this up or down and i think it's just so beautiful We've been treated I just went ahead and pinned my bangs back as well. This is totally optional. You can do your bangs however you want, but I just decided to pin them back a little bit. And then the pieces in the front that I kind of just left down because I have all these little baby hairs and I kind of like some hair to frame my face while it's up. I just went ahead and took my curling iron and kind of retouched everything back up to really make it again, frame my face and look like a finished hairstyle. You can't get no higher, fuck it. You're not my type at all. So this next hairstyle is one of my absolute favorites, but first I'm just taking a little section kind of behind the front part of my hair and just braiding it like normal. And then after that, I'm just kind of loosening up again to just make it bigger and fuller because I don't like tiny little braids. So that is exactly what I'm doing. Next, I'm just going ahead and pinning that kind of behind some of my hair in the back and then I'm taking the front section that was in front of the braid and pinning that on top to kind of create this half up, half down do with a braid. 
Next, I just took the other side and pinned it back as well to finish off the look, and that is it. You can add hairspray if you need to, but I didn't. I'm not a big fan of hairspray, especially if these are second day hairstyles because my hair typically is already a little bit greasy, but these definitely work with or without hairspray, so kind of play with it and have fun and make them all your own. For today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Again, if you're new here, hi, I'm Cicely. You should go ahead and click that subscribe button so you guys will be notified every time I upload a new video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much, and I always want to thank you for your support, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.